top, move at the top? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm not, like I said, I went, I'm not trying to get 2.0, but I figured out when the birds are a certain type, they roam with more effort, I mean effortless, and they do it more often. So, and that's where I was, where I was going. So, so the time you saw the birds, Hugo. Yes. I had a lot of deep birds that rolled a whole lot so I can get so I can get breaks. Right. So now I'm trying to get the birds so they don't do this when they settle down a little more and do this. And that's what I'm really concentrating on. In unison. I, I took the time to identify the birds and the combination of birds in my life that'll give me that. Right. The question is now is I'm gonna be keep keep enough up to be able to compete on a high level. I see. Um, I don't want to compete just to compete. I want to compete on a high level. Right. And, and that's one of my goals. So like I said, like I told everybody in my podcast, my goal is to be able to get 10 to 10 to 12 bird breaks like the average flyer here gets five and six bird breaks. So yes. every time they get a five or six, I need to get a 10 or 12. Right. That's how I want it to be. Okay. And my goal is to be able to score them high scores back to back to back to back to back. What I'm trying to do is concentrate on breeding enough good ones so that even if the even if the falcon interrupt the kit or take birds from the kit, it does not affect their overall performance. And that's what I'm going with. Yeah. And that's what temperament gonna come into play. Okay. That's why I pick it's a temperament. It's not temperament when you stick your hand in the cage, not that. No. It's about how they act when in the yard, how they how they respond once they get hit. Okay. All that plays a part. Them birds that get hit and dart around the sky real fast, 30 minutes after the bird is gone, <laughs> I'll never use a bird like that. I see. You know what I'm saying? So, yes. But that, that's all I had to say about that. So Cool. Nice. So I just answered that for my boy Hugo. And there it is. There. Thank you, Keith. I appreciate that. Well, here we are with the great Keith London talking about, you know, birds and birding out. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Keith. All right. Thank you. Thank you.